Good morning. It's Monday, March 28th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Ready for the Banquet, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 19. After this, I heard what sounded like a vast crowd in heaven shouting, Praise the Lord! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. His judgments are true and just. He has punished the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her immorality. He has avenged the murder of his servants. And again their voices rang out, Praise the Lord! The smoke from that city ascends forever and ever. Then the twenty-four elders and the four living beings fell down and worshipped God who was sitting on the throne. They cried out, Amen, praise the Lord. And from a throne came a voice that said, Praise our God, all his servants, all who fear him, from the least to the greatest. Then I heard again what sounded like the shout of a vast crowd, or the roar of mighty ocean waves, or the crash of loud thunder. Praise the Lord. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice, and let us give honor to him. For the time has come for the wedding feast of the Lamb, and his bride has prepared herself. She has been given the finest of pure white linen to wear. For the fine linen represents the good deeds of God's holy people. If this moment was a group meeting, and it was my turn to introduce myself, it might go like this. Hello, I'm Russell. I'm an introvert. The truth is, as a rule, I despise big crowds. Banquets are always a source of angst. Oh, I'm not against food. I'm rather a fan of the stuff. But it's the engagement, being on your toes socially, which does not come naturally to an introvert. If I'm hosting, it's my job to make sure everyone experiences hospitality a good time. And if I'm a guest... I'm committed to be appreciative and respectful to help everyone else have a good time. It's exhausting, to say the least. The next two days are recovery mode. That being said, there is one banquet I'm eagerly awaiting, the marriage supper of the Lamb. The reason this introvert is so looking forward to a gathering bigger and more intricate and socially non-distance has to do with the escalation catalogical timeline of Christ's return to clean up the mess that is humanity and her habitat, planet Earth. It's the beginning of eternity, a place where time disappears and perfection is completed. Everything, relationships, strength, health, justice, and peace, just to name a few we can't seem to get right here in this life, all this will be as God intended, restored, to God's perfect will. And the banquet, it will be the greatest celebration of reunion with saints of all time. It'll be the culmination of what God promised to humankind in the Garden of Eden. It'll be the treasure of the rainbow God displayed to Noah after the flood. It will be the fulfillment of an empty tomb's promise. And it will be the backdrop for when the bride meets her bridegroom. We are going to see the King. For you today, one of the things I'm greatly anticipating is the moment when I realize all my strength-draining introversion has faded. My new body, mind, and soul, my whole being will crave being with all of God's forever family without worrying about measuring up, lasting through, or recovering from any of it. Best of all, I won't want that banquet to end. And it won't. What a day, glorious day, that will be. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.